how to get coaching clients without social media. What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be covering how you can get more clients to your coaching business without having social media. So in the beginning, when we are all first starting out in our coaching business journeys, we don't really have large following, especially if you are just starting out in your business. So being able to find the first initial clients is crucial and obviously Obviously, something that we all strive for and I am going to be giving you all of the tips that I used in the beginning that got my first initial clients before all of my social media really took off but before we get started make sure you subscribe down below as there is so much helpful content coming so I can help you grow and scale your coaching business so number one is something that I will say over and over and over again in all of my videos and in my courses and to all of my clients, and that is you must first have a client avatar in place first so you know who your ideal client is so that way you know how to really target that specific person. I do have a client avatar worksheet. If you are interested in getting it, just hop on over to my Instagram, give me a follow and send me a DM and I will send that over to you right away because it is crucial to know the audience that you are targeting and the ideal client that you want to have before you can even make your first sale. Number two, and I am getting real old G on the methods that I use in the beginning, and that is being active on Quora. So if you don't know what Quora is, Quora is a website that is just all forums. So people go on there and ask questions upon questions upon questions about literally any topic. So when I first started out, I would go on Quora, I would find the people that were interested in my niche, which my services, which I still offer, was spiritual coaching. It was about manifestation, self-concept work, and really elevating yourself to elevate your life and get everything and anything that you desire from the universe. So I would go into all of these different forums that were about spirituality, manifestation, self-concept, about manifesting money, manifesting love, like literally everything that I can find when it came to manifesting spirituality. And I would just hop into all of these forums and I, what I would do was I would just give out free advice all the time. Now I wouldn't be giving out my services for free, but I would be answering questions like a professional and I would then give them, you know, a piece of the pie, but not the whole pie. And what that did is that it got a lot of people interested in what I was saying. And I would get people messaging me and reaching out to me wanting to learn more. And that is how I was actually able to start converting my first few clients. Number three, and I'm going to get even more old school on this, but it's actually Craigslist. I know Craigslist can still kind of be a little weird for some people, or you may have even forgot about it. But when I started out about eight plus years ago now, uh, it was just something that I, I had to do. It was something that I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put my services on Craigslist and see what happens. And I actually got a few clients off of Craigslist. Now you do have to understand these aren't going to be high paying clients. I, you know, was not charging them anywhere near what I now charge my clients, but that was because it was just kind of, I don't want to say randos, but kind of randos off of Craigslist. They were people that were locally to me and I was just starting out. So I couldn't put a high price tag on my services just yet. But don't sleep on Craigslist if you really are just starting out and do not have any of your social media kind of built up yet. Number four is Upwork and Fiverr. So if you've been an online entrepreneur for a little bit, 
you know what Fiverr and Upwork is. It is a huge freelancing platform. They are two separate platforms. They are huge freelancing platforms where you go and you can offer your services on there. Now, the great thing about both of them is that they have millions upon millions of users on this website. So you are able to get your services in front of their users. So that way you are able to start getting in some clients and offer your services to a new avenue of people that were already there using Upwork and Fiverr's user list. Now I am on both and I am still on both platforms. I am not as active as I now have built a system for me that works and I don't have to be, but that does not mean that I do not, do not love having multiple streams of income. So if I can offer my services in multiple places, I still do. So Fiverr and Upwork is definitely a great platform to get onto when you are first starting out and even carrying it with you throughout your career. Five is LinkedIn. So LinkedIn, just like Upwork and Fiverr, is a great way to utilize a platform's user list already, right? Their database. It is another great way to utilize someone else's following and users to your advantage. So LinkedIn is a great place to start also to really start networking yourself and getting yourself in front of the right people. Now, LinkedIn is different than Upwork and Fiverr where Upwork and Fiverr, if you set up your profile correctly, they will automatically be sending out your profile in the specific niche that you are in. But with LinkedIn, this is something that you are going to manually have to do. So you are going to manually have to search for people and do an introduction of yourself, network with people. So it is a little bit more involved, but this is still a great platform to utilize when you are just starting out and you have no social media presence yet. Number six is hiring help. So in the beginning, I tried to figure everything out on my own. And let me tell you something. It took me so long to get the oil well engined and working on its own. I mean, years, years. And if I could now go back and really invest in getting help from someone that I could have taken back all of that time and had my success from, you know, the first year, as opposed to, I had to wait at least a couple of years. I absolutely would have done that. I know in the beginning it's uncertain, you know, you don't really want to invest your money. You're scared. I get it, but you have to really understand, especially if you do not have social media that you need help. If you really want to get successful and be successful from the beginning of your journey and not waste so much time trying to figure it out on your own, absolutely hire help. Now it doesn't have to be with me. I would love to take you on as a client, but regardless, you should really be looking into how you can invest in yourself and your business to maximize your growth in a shorter amount of time. Now I know number seven is kind of social media, but the thing is, is that you do not need to have a following to do this technique, okay? So everyone under the sun has a Facebook page, whether it's a personal Facebook page that maybe you had years ago, you only keep it really because you have cousins that, you know, are out of the state or out of the country. You want to keep in touch with your old aunt from wherever, right? But utilizing Facebook groups, do not sleep on Facebook groups. Facebook groups are the best way to get clients without having a social media following. Because when you are in Facebook groups, nobody is looking at how many followers you have or any of that. When you go and join Facebook groups that are specific to your niche, they have to be specific to your niche. You can't just go into any random Facebook group, but I'm pretty sure that would kind of be like a given, right? We're going to go into Facebook groups that are niche specific to your coaching business. 
And all you're going to do, you're not going to be spammy. You're not going to be any of that. You are literally going to go in there as a regular member and you are just going to be offering advice. You are going to be telling people what has worked for you. And you are going to go in there just as a regular view, like as a regular viewer, as a regular um, member. There you go. And you are just going to be interacting normally, but giving them really, really good tips in a sense and what has worked for you to get to the goal that they want to reach. Doing this will absolutely just skyrocket your clientele. Now, you're not gonna be able to charge high tickets when you are first starting out, like I had explained in you know our section for Quora, but getting clients without having a social a huge social media you know presence or anything else, Facebook groups is probably the best way outside of Quora that I did, where I was really able to interact one on one, build that rapport and build that trust, and start getting paying clients. Number eight is your competitors' audience. So you just started out, you don't have a social media presence, but you opened up an Instagram account, you opened up a TikTok. What you're going to do now is go research who your competitors are and you want to find your competitors that have a decent following base, anywhere from 20 to 30, you know, I'm 30, 20 to like 100K um, followers. Any more than that, you're kind of playing in the, the fire of like, are you really going to be able to convert if you only have a few followers yet the person they're following has over 100k i don't really know i normally stick with like a 20k to 100k what you're going to do is you are going to analyze their page you are going to see what they are doing and then you're going to go further deep into that and you are going to see what people are the most active on their page and what you're gonna do after that is start reaching out to those people so you're gonna start reaching out and just cold dming them cold dms is what is a is a term in sales where you don't really have any type of rapport with these people but you know that they're interested in x and now you are reaching out to them to see if they would be interested in x right so going onto your competitors pages and finding people that are you know the most active which those people in a sense are the most interested in whatever niche that you are in and then dming them trying to build a rapport with them so you can ultimately lead them to a sale next up is paid advertising so you don't really have a big social media presence or you literally just opened up your social media channels and you really want to start getting in leads to your business you really want to take this and just knock it out of the park doing paid advertising is the best way to start bringing in traction into your business getting leads into your dms getting your yourself and your brand and your pages out there that is one thing that i do for my clients i literally install copy and paste my proven ads method into their business so they can start getting leads in their dms from the minute that we start running those ads so that is a great way for you to start getting possible prospects and people that are interested in your specific niche you have to make sure that if you are setting up these ads yourself that you are going to be very niche specific and again that client avatar in your mind about who you are going to be targeting in these paid ads Next but not least is blogs or podcasting. So when I first started out, I started my own blog and I was really able to start getting traffic and people just to build that rapport, get you know familiar with me, give them useful information and be able to sell my stuff. Now blogs, it does take a little bit to get SEO onto your website and to really build your audience base. 
So it's not something that I recommend you doing if you know that all you want to do is get coaching clients, but it is a great avenue to get into once you really develop, you know, what works for you and is bringing you in clients. It's another great avenue to start building it up to generate more traffic and more clients as you really build um, a relationship and a connection with your readers once you get that going. And for podcasts, I actually am just now in the process of getting my podcast together. But with podcasts, it's definitely a great way. And as much as, yes, you have to build up a podcast, it's not the same way with social media. And it is a great way to be able to give valuable information to listeners which then you can turn into social media followers and clients. Really hope this video was useful for you and you got some really good ideas on how you can get coaching clients without the use of social media. If you have any more tips that I did not mention in this list, comment down below. Let us know we are all here to help each other grow because there is enough room for each of us at the table. And make sure you reach out on Instagram if you want that client avatar worksheet. Thanks so much, guys. Until next time.